Hey y'all, time for another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I've been styling my TWA since my big chop. If you haven't checked out that video, I will link it for you. You can go over there and see how all of this went down. But now I'm about one month in, and so I've gotten my routine in the mornings down pat pretty much. And I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve this super curly, I think super cute TWA. So if you're interested, keep watching. Okay, first of all, we're gonna start out with wet hair. I just dampen it with my hands under the faucet and make sure to concentrate on areas that are harder to curl. Then I go in with my moisturizer. This is just that concoction that I've told you guys about before and I spray this on and then work it through. Make sure I get to the roots of my hair with this. Next, I'm gonna go in with some olive oil as my moisturizer. You can use whichever oil you prefer, but as you can see, I'm just really putting this on the ends of my hair first and then working it through. I don't want that oil sitting on my scalp. This is my leave-in. I've used Giovanni Direct Leave-In here and you can see it's really white but I just work it in almost like you would a lotion. You just keep working it in until that white goes away or most of it does. And you'll see me also focusing again on the area that's harder to curl which is the very top of my hair. Here I'm going in with my aloe vera gel. This is the first step for me. I take it and I just put it all over first. I make sure to get each area of my hair covered. This is a lighter gel than something like an Eco Styler, which I go in with afterwards, but this gives me nice curl definition without too much crunch. I also make sure to get the back because the back of my hair can tend to be less curly. It's more of like a wave, but I want it to curl up, so I have to concentrate on that area a little bit more and make sure I get product worked in there. And then I just go back through, work it all over my head, use these little circular motions to get the hair to actually curl. Here is when I go in with the heavier gel for my edges. This is the Eco Styler Gel and the Olive Oil Formula. You'll see me work it in and I'm pulling the edges forward because that's how I like to style mine. If you don't, you don't have to do that. This is just the look that I prefer. And then I go back in as you see here with my rat tail comb or just any small tooth comb will do. And I'm just gonna swirl my edges the way I like them swirled. You can do whatever, of course, um, suits your preference, but this is how I like to do my edges. This is the way I like for my edges to look. So I'm gonna do it on this side first, and then you'll see me uh, go back in here with the same comb and do the other side. For my edges, I just take the comb and twirl it to make sure those edges curl up like I want because those edges still have a little bit of relaxed hair in them. And then here I'm taking the comb and I'm pulling down my curly hair into my edges so that everything blends together. And I take my finger and go back over the edges so that they're smoothed out and they don't have those comb kind of rake marks in them throughout the day as the gel dries. That's what I'm doing right here, just smoothing them down. Again, you see me taking the comb and kind of pulling the curls down into the edges so that everything blends together. You can't tell that the edges are relaxed the way that I do it. These are just final little touches, filling any gaps. I take my heavier gel here, the Eco Styler, and I go back in and just work on areas that are harder to curl like the sides sometimes are for me. And I just swirl my hands around with the gel on there until the hair, you know, curls. I'm just kind of encouraging the curl. Here, I go back in that top part because that part of my hair is very disobedient. And I do want it to curl, so I'm just giving it some extra love. Redoing the back again, making sure that lays down. Doing a little um, happy dance there because I'm almost done. <laughs> And just touching up little areas here and there as I see. And then here I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the comb and I just fill in any gaps because my hair is still super short. But as you can see, I make sure that the shape of my hair is even all across. And then we're done. Okay, y'all, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I always get back to you guys. 
If you want to follow me on my social media and keep up with what I have going on, please feel free to do so. I will link them for you guys. If you watch and you like my videos but you're not subscribed, please think about hitting that subscribe button before you leave. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for watching and supporting. Until next time, y'all. Bye.